Keokuk, Iowa. Keokuk owes its existence, its presence, and its future to its more dominant force, the Mississippi River. There is only one Keokuk in the world. Located at the confluence of the Des Moines and Mississippi rivers in the southeast corner of Iowa. Rich with history, culture, and natural beauty, Keokuk boasts exceptional schools, health care facilities, neighborhoods, entertainment, and recreational options, and provides career opportunities for the entire tri-state area. Today, nearly 11,000 call this beautiful city home. Natural beauty, from the magnificence of the Mississippi to the delightful surprise of limestone-encased geode crystals, abounds in Keokuk. Many visitors remark on the greenness of the city, with its gigantic trees lining most residential areas and its 16 public parks that offer recreational facilities as well as beauty. Keokuk, Iowa is the place where today and history meet, where opportunities abound, and where the small town atmosphere and great people make it an enjoyable place to call home or visit. Keokuk's uniqueness extends from its name, which honors the Sauk Fox Chief Keokuk. By 1828, the first white settlers had arrived in Keokuk and began commerce on the Mississippi with the newest scientific wonder, the steamboat. Although large, unnavigable rapids blocked the river traffic at Keokuk, ingenious businessmen and engineers soon solved the problem with a series of canals and Keokuk prospered. During the tumultuous 1860s, Keokuk played a vital role as a departure point for northern troops headed for southern battlefields of the Civil War. Returning hospital boats created a need for medical care and as many as seven hospitals and two medical colleges were established in Keokuk, including one that later became the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. President Abraham Lincoln established the first national cemetery west of the Mississippi here. It is still the only one in Iowa. In 1913, a huge hydroelectric plant and dam, an engineering marvel, and the largest of its time, fortified Keokuk as a major force along the Mississippi with rapid industrial growth through the 1950s and expansion into the 21st century. All in all, Keokuk is a progressive community, firmly rooted in the past and eagerly reaching for the future while maintaining the Midwest's famous small town friendliness. Overlooking the Mississippi River, Chief Keokuk, for whom the town is named, is honored by a monument in Rand Park. Lock and Dam 19 and Observation Deck. Keokuk has preserved its history by converting the old Swingspan Bridge to an observation deck. Visitors are invited to a bird's eye view of the Mississippi in Lock and Dam 19 and the hydroelectric plant built in 1913. The George M. Verity Riverboat Museum on the riverfront provides history buffs a return to steamboat days of times past. The Miller House Museum houses a rich collection of photos, furnishings, and objects that focus on the lifestyles of area ancestors. The superintendent's house at the National Cemetery is in the process of being renovated for a future history museum. Grand Avenue, the most obvious record of Keokuk's past, is in the magnificent homes perched on the bluffs high above the Mississippi River. Even today, each facade reflects signs of the refined wealth that was so evident in the last half of the 19th century. A walking tour brochure of these homes and other significant buildings is available. The Grand Theater Great River Players, a community theater group, presents live theater at the renovated Grand Theater. This 1924 Hemp House is one of the few remaining theaters of its type and is also home to concerts from the Keokuk Concert Association and McNamara's bands, dance recitals, and special musical entertainment throughout the year. The Keokuk Art Center in the Public Library offers monthly exhibits by area artists and has a fine permanent collection. Artist lectures and art classes are offered. Bald Eagle Appreciation Days begins the yearly calendar in January. Because the dam creates open waters on the Mississippi River, 
Hundreds of eagles spend winter in the Keokuk area, where they can fish below the dam. April marks the now famous Civil War reenactment of the Battle of Pea Ridge, Arkansas, featuring Keokuk Civil War hero Samuel Curtis. The annual event is in its 20th year and has garnered many awards. Fourth of July celebration include a kids and pets parade down Grand Avenue, a fishing derby by the Keokuk Police Department, and an afternoon full of games for all ages in Rand Park and conclude with an awesome fireworks display to celebrate our country's freedom. Rolling on the River is a summer blues festival that attracts big name R&B talent from across the country. The summer months also see the gathering of one of the largest airplane conventions in the Midwest, the L Birds or Bird Dogs and Wings Over the World competition. The year ends in December with the City of Christmas display of lights in Rand Park. The 100 plus displays created by local volunteers continues to grow each year and attracts over 30,000 carloads of viewers annually. You may contact the Keokuk Chamber of Commerce at 319-524-5055, the Convention and Visitor Center at 319-524-5599, or Main Street, Keokuk at 319-524-5055.